everyone. Welcome to my channel, Andra Makes. Today we're going to be doing a quick flip through of the recent issues of Threads Magazine and So News Magazine. They're both spring 2023. I'm a new subscriber to both of these, so I thought if I was curious that you guys might be too. And actually, the Threads Magazine subscription was a gift from my sweet friend, Jen, from Today in Jen's Sewing Room. I will link her channel in the description box. Go subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much, Jen. So I'm going to start with threads, and I'm not going to linger on the pages too long because I want to respect the copyright, of course. So we're just going to do a quick flip through and get an idea of what these magazines are all about. So let's start with threads. Okay, there's the cover, of course, and that is Heidi Parks on the cover. She's a famous quilter, and in this issue, we're going to learn about four cute top updates, and then Heidi Parks quilts, sew your essential knit jacket, spring styles, trending patterns, fabrics, and colors, and there's an article about Zoe Hong, who is a design teacher, I think. So there's the contents page. And then the departments. And some of the contributors are answering the question, what will you do to renew your creative spirit this spring? And then the letter from the editor. And then letters from readers. And then there's information about their website, threadsmagazine.com. And then there's a decorative stitch guide for hand embroidery. It shows you the different stitches and how to make those. There's the outline stitch and the satin stitch, the chain stitch, French knot, and raised knot. And then there's an article about finely woven fabric, such as Batiste, Lawn, and Voile. And then there's an article showing how to do the Balmain, I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it, that style buttonhole. It goes to, into a lot of detail. And then I thought this was really neat. They do pattern reviews on patterns. So they have the Willow Blouse by The Sewing Workshop and the Nansu Dress by Lori Pear. Not sure if I'm pronouncing everything correctly. And then the Janae Trouser Style Pants by Deer and Doe. And the Elevated Blazer Jacket Pattern by Ellie and Mack. And then Vogue 1893. Oh, there's another one. The Go To Pleated Knit Tank Top by Itch to Stitch. The Sentosa Tank. And then there's an article about a cartoon artist, Roz Chast. She draws with needle and thread. And then tips and techniques to improve looks and longevity of a wear anywhere knit blazer. And then forecast for spring. The Upbeat Colors Fabric Trends, and then apparently Cargo Pants are in, Ballet Core Separates, Oversized Elements, and the New White Blouse. And then there's an article showing you how to use lace as trim and accents on a garment. And then this is really neat. There's an article for how to update your TNTs by using different techniques, TNT tops. And then there's the article about Heidi Parks. And then an article about ease. It says, learn to put room where your body needs it. And then a book review. They're reviewing embroidery atelier. I think that's how you pronounce that. And then the article about Zoe Hong, the fashion design teacher we all need. And then there's an article called Sheer Beauty, which is about sheer fabrics. And that's it for threads. So now let's move on to sew news. Okay, there's the cover, obviously. We're going to jump into spring. There's 11 projects to sew in black and white. Hand Loom Love, Sewing Tips and the History of Hand Loom Fabrics, Reader's Choice, Sew Daily 2022 Award Recipients. And then there's the No Wrong Way Jumpsuit by Meg Healy, and then a multi-purpose market bag. And there's a sew along. It says stitch a pair of flared yoga pants. There's the different articles and what page you can find them on. And then they have tips from the gram, which is Instagram, and then the hashtag for the sewing challenges that they do. And then every month or so, it says they ask their readers questions. And the last question was, what's your can't live without sewing tool? And then the letter from the editor. So Daily Network is on YouTube. And then there's readers tips, staff picks, an article on how to sew swing tacks, 
which is that the same thing as a Rulo loop maybe? I'm not sure. And then Meet the Maker. And in this issue, it's Helen of Helen Men's. And then Curve Appeal. The question is, what styling tips will keep oversized clothing from looking overwhelming? And then Sewing Menswear. And then there's the article about Handloom Love. Working with Handloom Fabrics. And then a Business Spotlight. And they're spotlighting Wooly Maple. And then Thrifting for a Cause. That's right up my alley. I love thrifting. And then there's a Sew Along for the Yuma Yoga Pants. And then there's awards for the Best Machine Embroidery Designer, Best Machine for Beginners, Best Computerized Machine, Best Serger, Best Embroidery Machine, Embroidery Software, Best Thread for Machine Embroidery, Best Stabilizer, and Best Machine Embroidery Designer. And then Best Marking Tool, Best Ruler, Pins, Best Brand of Woven Fabrics, Specialty Fabrics, Thread, Knit fabrics, machine needle brands, rotary cutters, scissors, cutting mat, zipper, snaps, buttons, all the things. So cool. And then an article showing you how to sew a couched cushion, the couching technique, not a cushion for a couch, although it could go on a couch. How to sew the green goddess apron, how to sew a multi-purpose market bag, and then how to create one-of-a-kind earrings from painted canvas fabric embellished with beads. That's neat. And then how to paint your own fabric and make a mod painted mini skirt. And then how to sew the no wrong way jumpsuit. And then how to hack a pattern you already love by altering one detail that changes the entire look of the garment. Shuring is a small change that has a big impact. And then how to make the zero waste wonder dress. How to make a wrap skirt. And then this is so cool, it says you can take a basic fitted dress with a waistline seam. An example is McCall 7047 and then do that really funky stripe work on it. So that's really neat. And they show you how to do that. And then frugal sewing tips. I'm all about that. And then I get the look article about a swank tank. And then all the experts that were in this issue. So I hope you enjoyed those flip throughs. Let me know if you did. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.